Hey guys, this is Scott again at a house we bought over here in the Arlington area of the Dallas-Fort Worth. This was kind of a unique purchase because the seller had been gone for over two years and had some traumatic, traumatic issues here. And it took some coaxing to get the deal done. This thing also had some major lien issues we had to deal with, but we were eventually uh, successful in getting it and got a home run on this. We bought it for about 125 and the rehab is going to be between forty-five and probably fifty thousand dollars. But let's kind of just do a walk through and take a look at what we're going to do to this house. Obviously, the yard is going to need some help in cleanup. If you'll notice, we have black shutters across the front. We're going to make the door black as well, just so it kind of all blends together. You walk into this foyer area, though, and again, we have one light here. We're going to remove that and run some can lights across the top and one to highlight this wall area. But our problem is, is we have four different floor coverings down here on the floor. And of course, the problem is, is what do you do with all of that? And so our thought was, let's remove this older tile to update it all the way through the foyer area is, the hall, the breakfast room, and the kitchen. And then to come around with carpeting and new core so it keeps it a little bit more uniform if possible. As you come on through the kitchen area, Back in the day, they always trim things out with the fur downs, which just lowers the ceiling. So we're going to take the fur downs out uh, and just to raise the ceiling height, get rid of the old light fixtures, the fluorescence, and again, go with the more modern can lights that will blend it in. Of course, granite countertops, updated appliances, and then just open this up a little bit, remove the old bench so you get a little bit more room to work with in here. Back in this area of the house, we had a utility room and a wet bar, and wet bars are a little passe nowadays. But we really didn't want to move the utility areas because it moved the plumbing and electrical. But we're going to put in a pocket door right here, and we're going to seal off this back door because there's another door just right here. This is, there's just too many doors, and it makes it uh, unusable. By take, removing this door, we can put shelving in and whatnot and make this a much nicer utility room for them. With the wet bar area, we're going to actually take this out to make this entry a little bit wider so it makes it feel bigger and use this for storage. We'll have not just the pantry but storage for the house here too because again some of these old houses when they were built they just didn't have a lot of, of, uh, of storage. Back in uh, the den area, we unfortunately had a roof leak that we've got to go up, tear some roofing off, redo some decking and flashing, and fix that problem. But overall, this isn't that hard of a, uh, of a design process in the downstairs. Now, as we look in the backyard here, the problem out here is simply it hasn't been touched in a long time. Lots of leaves to pick up, trees to trim and prune, lots of staining of the benches and a little bit of reworking of them. But once you get that done, this backyard can be very nice. And then, of course, we're going to paint the outside of the house. This house had vines growing all the way up and through it, and we've got those removed already. But just little things can help so much to make a home like this look better. And if you notice in some of the earlier pictures, our uh, windows already got put back in, where we got rid of the old windows and went with the updated double insulated windows. We're still trying to pick out an exterior color, whether we go with gray or a cream or something to lighten up just a little bit. Joanna here is going to make that decision eventually. As you come on through the upstairs of this house, is really, again, fairly easy. It's just dark, unfortunately. And the, the stairwell needs to have lights in it, so we're putting a couple of can lights in the top just to get it lit up. And the bedrooms are pretty simple. What's interesting is we noticed one thing about all of our doors. They put the doors all in upside down. And the doorknobs are normally about four inches below this. And so we're having to take all the doors out, put in all new door jams and doors in to get back to standardize. And then upstairs, of course, we're just going with carpet for our flooring to dampen the sound downstairs. In this little half bath or hall bath, not in bad shape. Of course, we're just going to put tile on the floor, granite on the countertops, new mirror, new light, exhaust fan. We're going to take the, uh, this vinyl tub surround out, which is a really inexpensive and cheap thing to do, 
and put our tile in up to the ceilings just to modernize it and make it a lot nicer for a home in this price range. And as we come back through the master bedroom, one of the things I like to do is eliminate the light kit on the fan and put can lights in just to modernize it. As you can see, the acoustic on the ceilings, we want to get rid of that and go back to texture as well. And then like they did in so many houses back in the day, they divide off the, the wet area a little bit we have two vanities, but it just makes the bathroom feel small. So again, we're going to come in, we're going to get rid of the, the cheap crown molding look that they did, get rid of the fur downs. We're going to take this wall out completely. Here where we're standing, our door is going to open back in. But by removing this wall, it's going to make the bathroom feel a lot bigger. We're going to put in a double vanity. So we'll have a 36 inch vanity on both sides and a 24 inch knee space in the middle. And then again, come into the shower area that is again with a vinyl overview. And we're going to take this out, do a proper um, uh, shower pan, new tile, new door, and get this bathroom updated. And by doing all that, this house is going to create a very nice value in the low $300,000 price range. So as you can tell, being into it for 140 on a purchase price and putting 45 to 50 into it is really going to make this a, a nice project in the day. And we believe this is going to be a very easy transaction to sell with seller financing. So again, not a hard rehab, just some work to do to update and modernize it. So I hope that helps you guys out as you walk through your own projects as well.